Okay, so I bought this uh, spinning globe, POV spinning globe kit uh, from Banggood and I had some issues with it and I figured there are probably other people that have the same problem. So I'm going to explain what I figured out and how I was able to fix it. So uh, this spinning globe kit has a, a remote control. You can select different uh, different modes. You can uh, make the globe spin. You can um, there's a, a time clock. You can select you know what thing text that you want to print on there. I just have my name printed on there. But I'll shut it off here and I'll show you. It's it's a POV or persistence of vision. And so there are really only 56 LEDs in this along this arc. And as that spins, there's a a sensor that senses each revolution so that it can keep the timing correct and then it turns on off and on those LEDs to create over 8,000 LED positions around this globe um, so I guess first of all I'll, I'll try and explain what I found out so the the main processor, the, the main microcontroller chip that's on this top board that spins is, uh, is this STC-15L2K08S2 chip right here. And this, right after the 15, is an L. And just for reference, this is the bill of material. So just for reference, up here, item number eight is a five five point one volt Zener diode, which regulates the voltage down to five point one volts. But if you look at the spec sheet on on this chip, the the L after the fifteen designates the chip voltage. So I'll go to the the spec sheet that explains the part numbering, and right here, after the 15, if you go down here, it says operating voltage, and L is 2.4 to 3.6, or 3.3 volts is the kind of the standard for chips. The 5.1 volt has to be an F and that's not if you look on the chip it's an L chip and that's what's in the bomb as an L chip but they're supplying 5 volts to it so that's that was my problem so what I ended up doing is I ended up ordering instead of the 5.1 volt Zener diode item 8 I ordered a 3.3 volt Zener diode. Um, this is the part number. They're only 17 cents at DigiKey. And at the same time, I also ordered the 3.3 volt battery just because my, by the time I figured out what was going on, my battery was pretty low voltage. So I ended up replacing the battery at the same time. So ordered those two parts and that took care of the problem and and now it's working and I've got to believe since the bomb calls out the L part the 3.3 volt part that other people probably have this same issue and you know unless you're an electronic engineer you may not <laughs> have figured out exactly what was going on here so anyway I hope uh, Help with those two parts, you can get yours working. Uh, 
And the parts were ordered from Digikey, D-I-G-I-K-E-Y, and uh, that's a company in northern Minnesota. Um, but you can just go online and order parts through them. So anyway, uh, hope you get yours working. Thanks. Also, um, I do some control line flying, and here's one of the patterns I put on there for the for those of you who fly control line airplanes.